Uh, turnovers. Yeah, I mean, I know everybody's going to say, well, you, know, you guys are tired, four and five. Uh, I'm not going to. Yeah, that's true. We played four and five. Um, but I'm not one to make excuses. You know, I, I felt uh, the biggest stat of the game was the fact that we had 13 turnovers to 26 points. Uh, third quarter was by far the worst quarter for us. We couldn't score. We couldn't get stopped. We had five turnovers to nine points. And the second half, there was nine turnovers for 19. So uh, that is a team you do not want to fuel their break. You do not want to give them extra possessions. They have a lot of weapons, obviously. Um, and obviously, uh, you know, the, they closed the game, I think, on a 13-0 run. So turnovers down the stretch, lack of execution, uh, you know, just like real, like, unacceptable breakdowns. They go pick and roll. And between Monte and Austin, there's no communication. We give up a wide open three. You know, those, those are the kind of plays that, you know, you just can't afford to have uh, down the stretch uh, against a very good team. Uh, ask Nicola. Yeah, ask him. I mean, uh, you know, everybody's tired this time of the season. So uh, we don't we don't subscribe to readily available excuses. They came in here, they got the job done, they beat us. And uh, first half, I thought we were terrific. You know, so uh, we, we were ready to play in the first half. I thought our crowd was great. I have to give our fans a ton of credit. Great atmosphere. I thought they gave us a lot of energy and life tonight. And just, uh, you know, we're unable to sustain it in that second half. Michael, how do you just look at this four game and five stretch? This is obviously a, such a crazy schedule. You get three out of the four wins. How do you just look at this from a big picture perspective? Tremendous. Uh, I'm so proud of our guys. You know, I'm not going to allow this loss to take away from uh, what we have been doing as of late. You know, I mean, I, I think uh, we're, we're 12 and three now in the last 15 games. And you look at it, we still have a bunch of guys out, you know, uh, to injury, guys in and out of the lineup. So uh, for us to go three and one in a four and five stretch, uh, I couldn't be more proud of our guys. And I said, I said to the coaches at halftime, uh, I, I loved us in that first half, just the energy and how hard we played. Obviously, uh, everybody's pointing it out. I, I think um, the obvious things you know, came into effect in that second half, the legs, the decision making, all those types of things. But uh, we'll be off tomorrow. We'll regroup and uh, we'll, we'll try to uh, get one more home win before we go out back east for another three game road trip. Well, yeah, I mean, we, we, we have to do a much better job of controlling um, our emotions, you know, and not hurting the team. Um, so, yes, it's, it's something that is a point of emphasis for DeMarcus, uh, as well as for everyone else on the team. You know, we, we've been getting way too many technical fouls, so sometimes we just got to play the game and let our play do the talking. Um, you know, but it's, it's not just on DeMarcus. It's definitely a, a concern with him, but other guys have been getting them fairly regularly as well. So I, as a head coach, have to do a much better job of policing that. Yeah, he was great. You know, I mean, obviously his speed, quickness, uh, ability to get to places on the court, uh, he was making – um, you know, for himself and more importantly, Mike, for his teammates, just some really good basketball plays. Um, and, and that was obviously in the first half was our best stretch of basketball. Uh, second half, that was not the case. Um, but, yeah, Bones was uh, was good. It was good to have him back available. Obviously, him you know, being hurt in sack. Um, he goes four of eight, ten points, uh, four rebounds, a couple of assists. So, uh, you know, Bones is growing and growing and getting better every, uh, like game by game. Well, I mean, uh, to your point, you know, I think they went on a, a huge run, you know, uh, once he picked up his fourth. Um, so now you lose your, your centerpiece on the offensive end, the guy that you play through and that makes everyone better. Uh, we really struggled to score in that quarter. We struggled to take care of it in that quarter. Uh, and then you have guys trying to do too many things, trying to force the issue, driving into a crowd. Uh, and then defensively, obviously, just his, um, his voice, his, his IQ, um, you know, because he is the anchor of our defense at the same time. 
Um, so yeah, anytime, you know, Nicole is not in the game. Our bench has been really good as of late. Obviously tonight, uh, I thought in the first half, they were pretty good. In the second half, they struggled. And that was the same thing with that starting group. Well, they definitely have to talk it through, but it should have been a switch. I mean, it's two light-sized guys, um, you know, which, which should be an easy switch. One guy says he talked. One guy says he didn't hear it. I'm sure the truth lies in somewhere in between. Um, but as I told our guys, that, that's just one example of a play down the stretch where as we approach these last 15 games and hopefully the postseason uh, that you just can't afford to have. I mean, uh, this, this was very uncharacteristic for us. You know, to be outscored 13 to zero to close the game. Uh, that, that's not what we're used to seeing. We've been a team that has excelled in close games and clutch games and won a ton of close games. So, uh, you know, tonight was something that we'll watch the film, we'll learn from it, and, uh, and hopefully we can be better come Saturday against Toronto. Thank All right. Thanks, everybody.